Hello, and welcome to the seventh in my series that I call Proverbially Speaking, which are reflections on verses from the book of Proverbs. These are my thoughts, and I hope my reflections will stimulate you to have your own reflections in your walk as a Christian. If you like these, please feel free to hit the like button at the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, please hit the subscribe button. And you can also see content that we do in regards to our Sunday morning worship service, our Sunday morning Bible study, as well as a Sunday evening service performed by our pastor, Mark Syme. So before I begin, let me start with a prayer. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for your patience and for the grace that you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. Okay, so the verses I want to look at are from chapter 9 of Proverbs and verses 7 through 9. And they read, Whoever corrects a mocker invites insults. Whoever rebukes the wicked incurs abuse. Do not rebuke mockers or they will hate you. Rebuke the wise and they will love you. Instruct the wise and they will be wiser still. Teach the righteous and they will add to their learning. So these verses bring to mind the commission that Jesus brought to all nations to bring them to Christ. A mocker, as you probably know, is someone who makes fun of others' beliefs, especially religious beliefs. We want to bring each other and others around to our truths, but in correcting them, as this verse states, are we truly bringing them around to the truth of Christ? As an English teacher, I run into this difficulty. If I correct someone's English when not asked, often I'm looking at as reproaching them. Similarly, with us as Christians, the mockers will often seek to try to gain a level of superiority by dishonoring us, sending them even farther away from the truth we wish to share with them. Even more so with someone we consider wicked. Truly, no one wants to believe themselves as wicked and to rebuke them for their wickedness will oblige them in their beliefs to turn back on us. We are not seeking others' hatred. We are not seeking to be superior to others. Turn to those who show wisdom. What is a wise man? In some of these translations, they use the words wise man rather than the wise. And if you look up in a dictionary, a wise man is considered a man who is venerated for experience, judgment, and wisdom, of course. Has, having wisdom means that because of his experience and judgment, he knows enough to understand that there is so much more to learn. He is open to learning and changing and growing. The wise man is someone of the mind to listen, to come to know what he doesn't know. There is also online what's called the Urban Dictionary, which is an online dictionary of the latest slang. In this, there is a definition for a wise man, and it's someone who is typically very passive aggressive and is unable to discuss his or her feelings and issues with those whom have upset them instead resorting to the act of posting derogatory remarks on social media. How ironic. The definition refers specifically to social media, but my point here is that they are not open to discussion, especially if it contradicts their feelings or beliefs. It is our task to assess our fellow man before offering advice, especially in spirit of correction. As always, perhaps it is better to show by example of who we are and be open to share when they're ready to come to us. These are just some of my thoughts and I hope they helped you as well. Thank you and please feel free to stop back and look at my other ones again.